we want to be able to interact with any, um, with absolutely any kind of uh, digital footprint source really. So we've talked about virtual learning environments, we've talked about attendance monitoring systems as the more common ones. For those systems where we haven't got a way of, uh, of interacting with that data at the moment, we would be looking you know, to, to build that kind of interface to that data, to bring that data in, uh, both in a historical and a live uh, data collection scenario into our learning records warehouse. Um, and it would be somewhat facilitated with the support of other institutions, um, whether JISC build it themselves or whether we work with specific partners in, in the sector uh, to make that happen. The current data collected for learning analytics is a minimum viable data set to allow us to undertake um, some sort of predictive analytics modelling um, or to feed into tools or systems that are required to do for data visualisations or, or the student app. There's no fixed data set as such that uh, we will need to collect going forward. It can be expanded on or reduced required depending on the institution's requirements. But what we would like to see is an extending data set, a number of data points that are collected. Certainly being shown that the more data you collect, the better the predictive models can be and the more useful that can be to benefit students and staff in institutions. All the data that's collected then needs to be deposited into a data warehouse so they can be used for learning analytics. All the data collected into the Learning Records Warehouse continues to be owned by the institution and not to be owned by anybody else without their permission to access and to use that data. There are two types of data that we collect into the data warehouse. Firstly, there is student information. So this is information on individual learners, their grades, the modules, the courses they're taking, which is relatively static. The second type of information that we gather into the Learning Records Warehouse is learner activity data. So this is the data that uh, is the digital footprint. Every time they use a system, click on a, on a web link or, or click on a link somewhere, attend a lecture, that's when a, a statement is generated which collects their activity data. And we can collect that from any number of sources. For Learning Analytics we require um, a plethora of different data sources um, that we've already talked about um, far and wide in the project. In terms of the two types of data we collect, in terms of time span, the historical and live data, and what's important with historical data is that is the foundation piece for learning analytics to build predictive models, you know, learning analytics processes as we call it within the architecture. What we want to do is gather anything between one to three academic years worth of historical data um, which covers you know, students' academic progression uh, but also aligning with that is their digital footprint data as well so that information about their interaction with VLEs, with student attendance systems and other sources. When we combine that data together uh, we build a predictive model. Um, now this predictive model will then be used moving into the future moving ahead with real-time or near real-time for an institution to make learning analytics work, uh, to use that data from the past to shape the outcomes of the data in the future. It's a very consultative um, piece of work really um, and it's semi-automated in some ways. Um, we actually work very closely with the institutions um, using whatever electronic resources we have uh, online um, in terms of a full documentation and specification around the data requirements that we have but it is very much still a very personable um, human face-to-face -face, um, initially anyway a uh, piece of work to, to, to spec up what we require from the institutions in terms of the technical validation we have to do then uh, we have a, uh, a validation tool that we are making available online so institutions can then upload and valid validate their data um, you know, according to uh, their own pace. Um, and then we also provide further on quality checks working with our vendors and our partners to ensure that we just haven't got the right data in the right places. 
but we've also got the right quality of data within those right places at the end of the day as well because um, there are many ways in terms of how the data could be interpreted or the data we need can be interpreted so um, again course module and very granular assignment level data has to be spot on and correct in terms of VLE and digital footprint information uh, and activity data we pull through um, that is again done um, through a mixture of either utilizing vendor or system specific plugins again securely over the internet uh, transferring that data into the learning records warehouse as and when um, and we bring all that information together um, into one space and run it through our validation checks but it really is a one transfer from one place to another securely um, using our leading edge systems. In terms of transfer of data into the learning records warehouse uh, we really are giving the power um, and the flexibility back to the customers and our institutions um, in terms of validating historical data. Um, we have a, an all new um, data validation tool um, which will be web based which will allow institutions to check uh, in terms of uh, the correctness but also the quality and concentration of their data before sending to, it to us um, you know, to perform that task for them which was somewhat um, time consuming uh, uh, and also quite a bit of work and quite frustrating for institutions as well in terms of wanting to get the data into the learning warehouse quicker and being able to analyse it and use it more effectively. So that's one of the other things we're doing is providing them with the power to do that historically um, you know, for historical data and then one of the things we're doing for live data um, is actually using those same pieces of validation we've given to the customers using it on our own system so we actually validate the quality of the data on the fly uh, and give near instantaneous feedback to the institution so they can help clean and manage their data uh, for subsequent loads more effectively.